All right. <laughs> Hell we are. Yeah, I'm actually know. really like the tattoo Seal has there. If I feel like that is a Pacific Islander tattoo, if I'm not mistaken. But you know what? Cultural uh, ignorance aside, we're getting into the very first game of the set here. Pointing out that Seal struck Battlefield in town and Helper struck PS2 in Smashville. This is an interesting match because, like, you know, uh, I've, uh, you know the past two oh decades God, have told us not to let Ice Climbers go to flat stages. It's true. We saw that with Beats. But, um, I mean, I guess, like, you know, for Sora, the character's never actually truly on the ground. So, yeah. I, I want to point out that when the Ice Climbers are holding shield, they have little angry faces. <laughs> I think it's super cute. So I'll point it out next time. Oh, that no! That is the correct play, and Seal is like, I don't think I've fought a Sora like this before. That counter just deleting both climbers in one fell swoop. Well, it was Nana first, and then... You know, Poe had to live to see that. Popo -po just fell to his death. Nothing to live for. <laughs> All right, but getting back on stage, no desyncs here. Helper just keeping on this pressure. Yeah, like we were saying before, Helper just hasn't really had to interact with the ground game very much. We've seen all this planking. Look how many options Helper has before he has to touch the ground. That was like five different moves. I expected Nana to throw a move out there. I was like, Nana, do something. I mean, really, when Nana's on screen, you just have to expect the unexpected with how goofy this character is. All right, up tilt, setting up those desyncs, trying to get these blizz walls started. I mean, there is a reason why Ice Climbers is Sakurai's favorite, because they can do goofy stuff like that. They are the perfect Smash Brothers they've, character. <laughs> they've got some kind of privilege with every goofy thing they can do. Secret top tier, I swear, every game. So I, I want to point out that Seal lost their round one. Well, a round two, they didn't get a buy. Yeah. And their round two was numbers. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So oh, they knocked numbers down. No. No. Oh, no. No, they oh, lost. They, they did take a game of numbers. But. Uh, and then proceeded to... <laughs> I'm, let me count these sets. I'll be right with you guys. Okay. Really yeah. good job of actually recovering high there, avoiding the counter. And what a, what a swing back there. Solo Po. Can't sleep on this character. Yeah. Yeah. Six sets, seven sets if you don't count, uh, if you do count the Fondy Q. Yeah. <laughs> and then nine sets for, uh, if, no, eight sets for like the one win and winners. Mm -hmm. well, Jesus, those, what a run. Yeah. yeah, the sad thing about uh, Sopo is that they are very, very light. Very light, but also just so difficult to track down. They're like, so small. He's so tiny. Oh I mean, Sora's kind of tiny, too. I think the Ice Climbers are larger than Sora. I you, think by just, just a little parka. bit. They definitely have larger heads than Sora. The hammers are larger little... than Sora. All right, the Thundaga just sweeping away all of the projectiles from Seal. He's not able to find any sort of pressure here at the ledge. That was such a weird shimmy with the little blizzard. It's kind of like going like a spinning top there. All right, Nana, holding up the blizzard says, "Get off my man! Do do not do not approach him. Do not approach in general, please." Oh, oh good decent covering the air. Right, Nana and actually air. hitting back. Let's go. Yeah, an up air and a combo break, but both climbers getting caught by the Thundaga means Seal is now stuck with the Sopo for the uh, very short remainder. They're of really this game. running it back to FD. I don't know. Is this really the best pick they can choose? It's Icy's brain, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, if if you can't if you can take your character to their best stage, then yeah, I agree. Because I feel like the things that was that were going on there, like oh FD, was not the problem for Seal. No, in, in this that game edge guard was. Yeah. yeah, that was a problem. <laughs> that counter that was, was gonna be a big problem. Man, I hate this character. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Remove Sora from like that. No. No. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're oh. seeing a good offstage situation here. Helper, unfortunately, recover going a little too low for that edge guard. Yep, Seal uh, adapting to the counter that we saw before, instead opting for that high squall hammer. So we're already starting to see the adaptations coming out from Seal. But we're going to see if it's a little bit too little too late. Going out just a little bit more to save Nana for that recovery. Very good stuff. You know, maybe oh. we need to give Seal a little more motivation to win the sets. If they, if they win, we'll give them a Desert Rose. 
Uh oh, Nana's Barring match that, not quite one. good enough. Now Seal once again stuck with the Sopo, a wild F smash on Shield. Helper cleaning things up with an up smash. And Helper is just like, you know, for as scary as an optimal Ice Climbers can be, Helper has just not had to play their game at all. Sora literally has better Blizzard. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but he only has it a third of the time, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, we're seeing Seal try and pressure Helper Shield a lot, and it's not working out. And Helper, every single time, is going off with those counters. Start Has to start mixing it up, maybe in the air. There goes Nana. There goes the Blizzard. I mean, so much of Seal's pressure that we've seen thus far, especially in, like, other sets against, like, Beats, has just been mainly focused on, like, shield pressure. But yeah. Helper has just had so much screen control with the spells, with all the time that he spends off stage, that Seal has just not gotten to get it started. <laughs> the top uh -oh. animation. Oh, just barely able to weave out of the way of that F smash. It also makes me realize just how many get off me tools Sora what does have that? to get Ice Climbers off. Even Thundaga, because you have to space with the hammers, isn't uh, is just good to just be like get off shield. Yeah, just just sweeping them away. And it looks like they are sweeping the in-game crowd away as they're chanting Sora's name. Helper. See, trying to catch is, the air as well. Is able to catch that get up option, but once again, the high squall hammer. Helper has not really been able to do too much about it. And finally, Seal on the board with that double forward air. Seal can do this. Seal just needs to weave in and out a lot more That's, and find these openings. This is good. This is what they need. That squall hammer was crucial because Nana's head was on the chopping block, but instead, it's actually going to be Popo who's on the chopping block. Aw, oh, does Nana just disappear? She does! <laughs> There's not even like a little animation like Melee. Yeah. Oh, she just gone. disappears. In a, a poof of dust. She, yeah. return, she returns to the void. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. You think maybe just like a little flurry of snow at least. <laughs> no flourish, no Leaves details, no care behind. put in this. Yes. What a parry! But unfortunately, Helper just falling right out of that squall hammer. Seal has just not gotten to get any sort of advantage started at all. All right. Uh-oh. This is hard, but you got two characters versus <laughs> I, one. I love the way that Helper was doing those forward air loops and just, like, switch which character he was looping and just kept going. I mean, that's what Seal has to do, mash for their lives. Oh, Squall Hammer coming through, but the instant dash attack. Whoa, 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 whoa. These poor Ice Climbers. Nana is not That's looking that. good. You can see Seal. No, they actually broke through. Yeah, did actually manage to save Nana's life right there. A rescue story for the ages. But we'll see if they get to live a long and happy life afterwards. Get him, Nana. Nope. Wow, actually breaking through that. Okay, but Helper is not dead just yet. 105. Seal has to take this. No. Fortunately, the second forward air setting him downwards so that uh, no Helper pressure. is living that. <gasps> a good parry. What can they do here? No, has to roll away. They weren't close enough to punish the Thundaga. Just has to respect this spell pressure so much. Yeah, I am just... Once again, great parry. And finally, Seal bringing us to even stocks. Oh my Two god, he's also to take a whole seconds stock. seconds on the clock. Nana is still alive, but quite a lot of damage. And Helper. No, not like that. The weakest the back end. Switcheroo. Helper was, <laughs> Helper was trying to kill Nana, and Popo just jumped in front of the bullet. I mean, that you know what? That's real love right there. It really find is. Find yourself somebody to jump into a for a Sora back air for you. That's true love right there. Now. My God, this looks so annoying. For ice. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. Oh, it just Bro. looks annoying in general. I don't think I'd want to fight these two oh, you, players. Oh, you don't got to tell me about it in general. <laughs> uh, I, I am, I am. Yeah, just the president oh. of this character's hate club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are the weekly meetings? I'll meet you at the bar. Yeah, Wednesdays, like, I think. Geez. Yeah, directly after. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, see, let me get you a drink, bro. Oh. <laughs> like. God damn. Yeah, oh man. But regardless, what a run from Seal, by the way. Seated 30th, 
here tonight and going down at fourth. Yeah, Bro, okay. can we actually so, see the top eights? Yeah, we yeah. can. So Seal, like, uh, let me just stop the recording here.